Hey guys, Dana, and welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a custom spawn structure inside of M Creator. So, first, load up your workspace, click on the plus button, and then find procedure, which is right here, or just press the P button. Then we can give it a name. So, I'm going to name it Spawn, let's say, Witch. And make sure there's no spaces. Then click on create new procedure and then redo this, this thing right here, into a block is placed. Once you've done that, then you want to go to flow control, get if do, and place it right there. And now you want to go to math or no logic, you want to go to logic. And drag this right here and we can change it to and then right click on it and click on external inputs now right click on it click on duplicate and then we can place this by the if and now you want to go to blocks procedures and go all the way down until you get get block at XYZ and then and then once you have this, feel free to duplicate it, but we won't need to do that exactly, I guess. And then go to logic again and get this right here. And we can go to Minecraft components and get this. And then we can put this right here and this right here. And then we can duplicate this two times, so we have three. So then we can put it here, here, and here. Or you can also put this down one and then it'll look like this. I guess you can do that as well. It doesn't really matter at all. It'll do the exact same thing. So now it depends on high, how high you want each one. So we can grab all of these, the Ys, which is how high every, everything is. And then you want to go to math. Get this, go to math again, and get the number, which it now is zero. So then we can place the Y here. Then we have this thingy. We can delete the other two Ys and duplicate this two times. And then we place it in here. And now we can get this. We can get the blocks that you want. So double click on this. And then you can choose the block. So we're spawning a witch. So I'm going to get uh, purple wool. Purple uh, wool. There's purple wool. And then we can open this. Type in wool. Get purple wool. Purple wool. And yeah. Just three purple walls on top of one another. And then that will spawn a witch. But I'm going to put a pumpkin on the top right here. There it is, carved pumpkin. And then we are almost done with this. But you want to do uh, Y plus zero. And then change both of these to minus. And then minus one minus two and then you're done now we can just get spawn just type in spawn on the search bar and then go to the third one the third world management one click on it and then we can just go right here and put it there then we can look for the entity which which is by the w so w it's quite far down. We just need to find it. There we are, a witch. Now we want to remove these blocks, otherwise it's going to infinitely spawn witches and you don't want that to happen. So now you want to go to block procedures, go to remove block. You can just drag this here, remove block at XYZ. Then put this on top, make sure to put it on top. And then we have three right here. Then you want to duplicate these, all of them, boom. And then it doesn't matter what order you want, 
but just delete all of these Y's and then put them in just like this. And there we are. We have our code for a spawning structure. So if we save this, if we place blocks just like this, so two purple wolves on top of one another, and a pumpkin just like this, it will spawn a witch. So let's do that save the mod element obviously save it make sure to save it and then wait for the gradle to compile itself okay mine has just finished uh compiling the project as you can see it's on gradle idle and then go up here and click on the play button okay once we have loaded into our minecraft go to single player don't worry this isn't your account we can just create a new creative mode world so we can test out our mod and just wait for the world to create okay now we spawned as a dev account which stands for developer if you didn't know so then we can go get some purple wool so search up for purple wool here some purple wool and then a pumpkin a carved pumpkin I can't type today. There's the carved pumpkin. Then we place the two wool and the carved pumpkin on top. And boom! There is a witch and it is gone. So, yeah, that's basically it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. And have a great day. Make sure to subscribe. Goodbye.